All right, welcome back. It's 23 minutes before 7 on this Tuesday morning. Now, he has been described as the little man with the biggest heart. That's four-time world champion Jacob Baby Jake Matlala, the shortest ever world champion who, who died earlier this month. Matlala was buried last Friday and first captured the attention of the international boxing world when he won the World Boxing Organization title through an eighth-round technical knockout over Pat Clinton in the UK in 1993. This morning, we pay tribute to Matlala and have invited former Boxing South African chairperson, Dr. Peter Ngatani, to studio to, uh, to pay tribute to baby Jake Matlala. It's so good to have you. Welcome to, welcome to Morning Live. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, firstly, I would like to pass our condolences to the Matlala family, yeah. and his uh, immediate uh, relatives and friends, and also to the greatest man, Nelson Mandela and his family, yeah. who... The f some of the famous pictures that he said is that of a boxer. Mm. So us in boxing have always been proud to have him representing us yeah. at that highest level. Yeah. I mean, we, we spoke about it um, off air and we, we both passed the same comment. Uh, it's never a good time to die, but baby Jake Matlala unfortunately passing at the worst possible time ever because, he, you know, he, he, he should have been celebrated more, but, you know, the, the attention was just not there from the world. Well, that's, that's quite, quite unfortunate uh, because uh, uh, it, he, my, Matala is a man who used to have good timing. But this was the worst, <laughs> this, timing, <laughs> the worst timing that he could ever have. Yeah. But uh, uh, I think going along with his uh, out-of-ring out, out of uh, demeanor is that uh, he was never uh, a pompous man. Mm. So I think he bowed down and, and went under the shadow. Yeah. of Madiba yeah. uh, as, as, he, as he goes. Yeah. Because they have certain similar uh, qualities, uh, uh, Madiba and Mandela, in terms of how they, they gave and how they, they, they perceive themselves in, 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 South, in the public. Yeah. Let's talk about your first meeting with baby Jake McClala. What, what really struck you most about him? Well, what struck me most of, uh, was that uh, he was one of the shortest uh, persons who have uh, walked into the, the gymnasium at Dubai Boxing Club. Yeah. And um, at that stage, nobody thought with that stature would ever uh, uh, make it uh, to the world of boxing in any way. Because uh, when Matala came in, he, he was small. And um, as in boxing, we, we have uh, uh, weight divisions. Yeah. So as he came in, he didn't fall into any other weight division that was in existence. <laughs> So for him to go into, to become either a junior fly or something, he had to gain weight. Mm. Other people in boxers, they lose weight to be in, but he had to gain weight yeah. to be in, uh, in, in, in that, uh, uh, in whatever division that he had to be put in. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I have this funny thing to say, Matlala, like the, the common thing that's, if you're served uh, lemons, make lemonade. He made, he made lemonade, sold it, and gave a lot away. Yeah. And uh, that's how it was. That's uh, what made him the man and the person that he was. I, I, yeah, for, for me, I would, I would love to know, what made him such a lethal fighter? I mean, given his height, he was a tiny guy. He was a tiny guy, but uh, I think uh, the thing that the most pe uh, sports people, those who are gr great sports people have, is that uh, he was committed to his trade. He, he took it seriously. Mantala, you'll never find him in any way unfit. He was always in the gymnasium. He was always committed to his uh, uh, trade. And um, he listened to his corner. And he listened to his... Uh, 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 and he never undermined. Yeah. One of the things, undermined his uh, opponents. Yeah. You know, uh, speak to us about how Matlala overcame the territory superiority. I mean, this, this existed between Meadowlands and Dube during the pre-professional career. Well, uh, I, I grew up in Dubai, yeah. and we, we trained, I trained at Dubai Boxing Club, and um, Matlala was in Midlands. So Midlands and Dubai, you had to, for him to come over, he had to cross uh, the bridge, yeah. you know, the railway line. And then there was always this rivalry that was Dubai, you know, we used to call ourselves, they used, we used to call them the fires, when they called us Kalakuns because of the way we speak and, and, and things like that. So, there's always a fighting. If you go to Midlands, they'll fight you. If you come to, to Dubai, they'll fight you. So there was that thing. But I think for some strange reason, uh, Matlala 
made it the easiest to come across and train in Dubai. And uh, when he trained in Dubai, um, there was that, that uh, link uh, became very strong because we had, we've had, afterwards we had several boxers uh, coming from uh, Midlands, coming o over to Dubai because we had very good uh, boxers that they could have uh, gyms in Midlands that he could have gone to yeah. where uh, people like, uh, um, uh, uh, who's, uh, uh, who's this guy who, who beat, uh, uh, who fought Harold Forbrecht? Uh, I'll remember the name, but there were those big uh, clubs in Mid in Midlands. But uh, he he chose, and his father brought him to Dubai, and I think that's what made because Dubai had a principle uh, standing that uh, any youngster coming to join the gym has to be brought in by a parent, or there must be a parental representative. Not the youngster would just walk in and, and, and do whatever without them knowing where he comes from. So yeah. he was brought in like any other person. So that uh, Midlands Dube uh, uh, animosity uh, uh, was, um, was something that was never considered when it came to Baby Jake. Yeah. Let's talk about what we're seeing on screen right now because this was, this was such a momentous occasion. Um, back in 2002, Madiba in the audience watching this particular well, fight. He, that was a phenomenal thing because... Uh, uh, Watching a live performance of a boxer, yeah, uh, it was the first in the country for Madiba to have been there in live, you know, live uh, watching the uh, 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 the sport, and um, that was uh, Matlala's second defense of the WBU title, yeah, and it was the the, the fight that uh, he had said it was his last fight, mm. which it was his last fight in the ring as a as a as a boxer, and un unbeknown to anyone. He won the fan, Juan Herrera's, he won the, the fight. And after the announcement, the belt being given to him, he just stepped out of the ring and every, took everybody by surprise. Wow. And then went straight to where uh, uh, the great man Nelson Mandela was sitting and be, uh, with uh, um, uh, Will Smith. Will Smith uh, was shooting a, a Muhammad Ali uh, film yeah. in, in Mozambique and he was there as a guest to Mandela. So they came to the fight and out of just sheer uh, human Matala surprises, as always, he jumped over and went over and um, handed his belt wow. to Madiba. Ah. And um, there is a picture which probably has not, uh, uh, has not been sure where Madiba, Madiba actually put uh, Baby Jake in front of him and he tied the, the belt uh, around, him. around both of them. Oh, around both of around them? Around both of them. Wow. And that was uh, one of the most... Uh, 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 a telling mo uh, moment because uh, uh, even his wife will, will say that Mandela and, and Matlala are, are tied yeah. by the belt, uh, yeah. uh, by the hip. Oh. Uh, and, and that would be because Matlala will just come to the hip uh, of, of Mandela yeah. in terms of height. And they, they spied, at one time they had a sparring session. Oh. Madiba and, 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 uh, and a Mandela. A full on sparring session? Yeah, yeah sparring, sparring. No one session. was holding back? No, sparring, not. Uh, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't say holding back. I mean, uh, there has to be holding back. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Hey. Because um, the, the quotation that Matala used afterwards was to say, um, uh, you, you could be a boxer in a, you could be a champion in any weight division. Yeah. So uh, am I. Fantastic. In any weight division. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so he was a, 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 a and, and, and the, the, the thing that Matala uh, uh, was all about was that, uh, after the, he was done with the ring as a boxer, he took out a promoter's license. But his major contribution was what he was doing outside the ring. Mm. He had a love for the children, the same as Mandela had. He had love for education. He had love for helping everyone. That's why I say he made lemonade and gave a lot away. Yeah. Let's, let's just wrap it up now and just yes. talk about how... Um, what his legacy is. I mean, what is, wh wh how, are we, how, how would you think Baby Jack Matlala would like us to remember him? I think we'd like to remember him as a, as a sports person who, 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 who uh, uh, overcome adversity. And the, uh, the message he's saying is that uh, whatever circumstances you are in, don't be despair. Mm. Make good out of it and, 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 and make greatness out of it. Because there were a lot of short people, but they undermined their own shortness. But he, he took the disadvantage and used it for his own advantage. And uh, I think the, um, one of the legacies that he's also left is that uh, 
he plowed back what he was saying. His children are well educated. Yeah. He made sure that they go to good schools and they get their good grades and everything. He was both a boxer, a father, a husband, a community man. Yeah. He was an all-rounder in terms of a gift to, to South Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, as rightfully the minister had said, the gymnasium that uh, Matala trained in, and unlike all other boxers, he never left the township. Yeah. In the dingy place that he used to gym in, he stayed, he stayed there. there the but time. the gymnasium was upgraded with a donation from the WBC and the uh, Houghton Department. So the minister has made a, a plea that uh, that gymnasium should be renamed the Matlala Gymnasium. And wow. I think processes are in place, will be in place after in the new year that the minister will be meeting with the management of, of the gymnasium and the government and all those to make sure that a proper uh, monument is yeah. set up for Baby Jake. That'll be incredible. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for sharing these memories. Uh, the president of the Commonwealth Boxing Council and former chairman of Boxing SA, Dr. Peter Ngatane, uh, helping us pay tribute to four-time world champion Jacob Baby Jake Matlala, who died earlier this month. Matlala, 1468 bouts. He won 53 of those, lost 13, and drew just two.